Okay. So I have a question here from SF <laughs> is, is, is initial. It's asking what should shareholders expect towards the end of the concession agreement in 2036? I know it's a ways off, but um, he says, or they say, are there any plans to add additional assets to the group? Right. So the, the modification of the concession agreement took place in, in 2019, um, started 2020. Now gives Trans Jamaica Highway an option. So previously, the, the concession agreement didn't have an option, but it now includes an option, um, which is uh, for those of you who, 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 who listen to the stock market or watch the stock market news, an option is a, a right, but not it's an obligation. It gives you a right to purchase the, the, the concession again for another 35 years or to extend the concession agreement for another 35 years at prices that, that are agreed. Um, so this is a little different from a right of first refusal where you're, you're negotiating a price. In an option, the price is almost agreed upfront and you have this right providing that you're able to, to pay for this option, to exercise the option. So um, come 2036 or 2035, as the concession provides, we will start looking at that area. Obviously, we'll start looking at it before that. But by then, we think that we probably could exercise the option to, to extend the highway um, at that point in time. Okay. And I no doubt the variables will be very different, you know, 12 years from now <laughs> than they are right now, um, which, which lends me to the next set of questions as we, you know, prepare to wrap up this interview. What does the future look like uh, for, for Trans Jamaica? It's, it's, you know, do you see yourself expanding your services outside of Jamaica? Are there maybe parishes that you'd love to, to be in or, you know, gaps you'd like to fill in in our local market? How, how do you see that, you know, the plans, you know, moving forward? Well, there are, there are a number of, of potential opportunities in Jamaica that we think are very attractive or very exciting. Um, the first is obviously the new Montego Bay Bypass, which is, is being constructed, um, which is a 15 kilometer roadway around Montego Bay. That's a potential new um, asset that we could we could manage. And so that's one of our potential projects. That project also includes extension of the, or construction of a new road from Montego Bay down to um, south of, south of, of Mobe, uh, going towards the south coast. Again, that's a new potential project. The government has been talking about extending the east-west highway from Williamsfield, where it, where it stops now, going further west. Again, that's a major both construction and operational project that we think is, is also very attractive. So there are a number of new projects in and around Jamaica that we, we think over the next maybe two to three years, um, we see ourselves becoming more and more involved. In. What about outside of Jamaica? Yeah, yeah. So outside of Jamaica, there are obviously some, some great opportunities. Um, starting first in the Caribbean, um, we are probably the only operator of toll roads um, in the Caribbean. Um, and so that gives us a leg up on a lot of the new development taking place. Guyana is an interesting place for us. Um, there are a lot of uh, potential projects in Guyana that we'd love to be able to be involved in. Trinidad is also another interesting place for us as well. So we're looking at those in addition to the expanding our, our footprint in Jamaica. Okay. So in terms of inorganic growth, uh, do you have anything in the pipeline that you're working on? Is it something that you have, you know, top of mind to grow in that way as well? What you're thinking about now? No, so um, acquisition, maybe you know, taking over other other roads being operated, um, just kind of expanding through acquisition. 
Right. So we, we talked a little bit about the, the ones in, in Montego Bay. Yeah. But obviously, if the opportunity arises, um, we talked earlier about the developments along the highway. Um, right now, we are we are primarily just a, an operating company. Um, but if you were to take on, for example, a, a new housing development, um, then we would likely maybe acquire a contractor or acquire a developer um, who could work with us in implementing those developments. There are, as I said, there are lots of land between Mapen and, and Kingston that are being opened up by the highway. We obviously have a leg up because we can you know, influence where the interchanges are placed. And so that gives us um, you know, a, little, a significant advantage in terms of where a development is likely to be. And as I said, if we were to do a development like that, there are a number of ways we could do it. One is to obviously partner with a developer, or one is to acquire a developer, um, which would give us a, a long-term stake in the development going forward. 